Hey there, just a quick thing to share before the video. I'm really excited to announce that I'm now a video editor for Patty Cakes Gaming. Patty is a really excellent Twitch streamer and YouTuber who makes high quality Destiny 2 content. Patty's thoughtful, intelligent, and entertaining. I'm just thrilled to be creating content for his channel. The first video I edited is where Patty and his friends go into trials with a team of three bubble titans, and it was very funny. And tomorrow's video is super funny too. It has a football theme. You should check it out. Okay, so here goes. I think stasis is actually good for Destiny PvP in the short to medium term, but I do think it is currently more powerful than it should be. Here's where I think it brings some good things to the table. First and foremost, I strongly believe stasis was created to slow things down. I'm not just making a pun, I actually believe it was a very intentional decision by Bungie who wanted the sandbox to more deeply change into something a little bit more thoughtful and slower. Unfortunately, I don't know that it's had that exact effect. But for a majority of the Destiny PvP community, and by this I mean the people who make up the meat of the Crucible, average players who are just pretty okay at the game, they were getting sick of good players just rushing in and overwhelming them with more damage. That was how Destiny PvP went for a long time. Good players would win because when they all jumped in at the same time, they could do more damage in the split second than the less experienced players, and at least one of the good players would survive, and the good team would have at least one person left alive. So that would mean they won the trials round, or they came ahead in survival, and that was that. Good players could just rush in, be fast, accurate, and extremely punishing to worse teams. And for good reason. Good aim and fast reaction time should be rewarded. But I think the average Destiny PvP player got really sick of having almost no way to counter aggression in the Crucible other than just quote unquote getting good, which is something I think a lot of people just do not care to do. Bungie knew this, and so they created stasis to literally slow the meta down and make good players back off, because they wanted less experienced players to play the game and spend money on it. Now, if good players rushed in, they could all be destroyed in an instant by a single grenade or a single melee ability, and that's ridiculously powerful. That scares people off and makes them take a more strategic and slow approach to eliminating enemy players. And that's just what less experienced players needed. Some breathing room to think, aim, react, etc. So to be honest, I feel pretty understanding towards these players who kind of needed stasis to have a fighting chance. Bungie made stasis knowing full well it would be very powerful at launch, and while I don't think they realized how overpowered it would start as, I don't think they really cared because they wanted very experienced players to feel some fear and back off from the people who were usually cannon fodder for the 6v6 lobbies so they could have a fighting chance. Now this set into motion two processes. The first was this. Casual players came back to Destiny and new people joined Destiny as new guardians. The average Joe started thinking to himself, dang, I can do that. I can toss a grenade or melee or shoot a 120 hand cannon shot. That's easy and really powerful. And they'd be right in thinking that. So that brought a lot of people into Destiny, which I would argue is a really good thing for the game, to grow and get new players. Obviously the Trials population is still really hurting, but all in all, Stasis brought a lot of people to Destiny or brought people back, and that's awesome. I'm genuinely happy when this game grows because it makes it more fun for everyone. And plus, at the same time, to be very honest with you, good players can still totally beat worse players even if the worst players are using stasis. They might lose a few rounds that they shouldn't have, but for the most part, good players are still almost always going to win, even if the less experienced people have stasis. It just gives the less experienced players a lot more of a fighting chance and gives them a little breathing room. Now, the second item that was set into motion was this, a new level of frustration and exhaustion for the core of veteran Destiny players who have literally been playing this game almost nonstop for six years. There's a core of these ultra long-term players in Destiny who remember everything from Destiny 1, have every item in Destiny 2 for the most part, and play Destiny PvP nearly every day or at least every weekend. They will always be very, very good at this game because they have a deep fundamental understanding of how the game engine works how first-person shooters work, how Destiny works, and they just basically always know what to expect in a Destiny PvP match. Not to mention they rarely miss shots and they're wicked fast. This old guard of the Crucible is currently experiencing potentially the highest level of disappointment with the PvP meta that they've ever felt, and it's exhausting them. With every expansion, they feel Destiny grows cheesier and cheesier, and that it's putting less and less emphasis on gun skill, and it's rewarding people for creating ability or super heavy builds that abuse the goofiest things about Destiny PvP. This core population of hardcore Crucible players makes up a big demographic of who plays endgame Destiny PvP, like Survival and Trials, and they have been watching Destiny grow less and less competitive over time. So just as new players are entering Destiny or returning, interested in the fantastically broken and powerful builds available through Stasis, some of the most experienced Crucible players are giving up and leaving, because the game has reached a point where it's just too cheesy for them. I think this trade-off that's happening is certainly freshening up the Crucible and making it feel a lot different, and I usually like change, but when I look down the road, I'm wondering what this will actually do for Destiny PvP, and I don't know that it's good. 
Here's why. As new players come to the game, not all of them stay. In fact, a lot of people just come back to play the new expansion a bit and then they leave. For those who do stay, and eventually Destiny becomes a main game for them, something they spend hours and hours on every week, they're headed down that path of eventual exhaustion as well. As players become even moderately interested in PvP, they inevitably begin to crave competitiveness. They want to get into primary gunfights and communicate and coordinate with their team and make cool plays happen. That's what's fun to them, sometimes even more than winning. They want to truly, truly master a gun or their favorite exotic and never take it off. And they want to do scrimmages. They really want to improve. So what I begin to see is a conveyor belt happening. Imagine a conveyor belt moving items from the left to the right. New players or returning players are dropped down at the left, and they slowly move to the right. At the right side, they eventually fall off the edge and stop playing Destiny. Now what prevents players from falling is them standing up and running back towards the left side like they're on a treadmill. They might get this sort of motivation from trying to get a certain reward, like a gun or something, or get a cool speedrun time, or get a title in the game, whatever you want. Or maybe they're just having fun. As long as they are having more fun than they are being annoyed, they'll keep playing. But if it grows to be too frustrating, not competitive, and not rewarding enough for their time investment, their pace on the treadmill eventually begins to slow, and they'll eventually just fall off and stop playing, because they just stop feeling motivated. So all in all, I wonder at what rate is the game gaining new players and inspiring current players to keep playing, compared to what rate the game is causing frustration and causing people to slip down the treadmill conveyor belt and be tossed away. At the beginning of Beyond Light, we definitely had a lot of new players and new things to keep us interested, but that new excitement had an intense deterrent, which was the frustration and exhaustion caused by Stasis's lack of competitiveness in this first-person shooter, along with other issues that continue to undermine people seeing Destiny as competitive, such as third-person peaking and cheating. Anyway, I think we're reaching a turning point where the excitement is dying down and people are slipping down the treadmill. Obviously, one factor of that is that it's days before a new season starts, but we already know that this next season is kind of sparse, and these mid-year expansions pretty much always are, and that's okay. But still, long term, I have a sneaking suspicion that Stasis could be bad for the game. I know, big surprise there, but I'm saying it could be bad for the game because of this equation of new players versus old and inspiration versus frustration. Not just because I'm whining about Stasis being annoying. Don't get me wrong, it sure can be, but I hope you hear what I'm saying. I think long term, there's a balance here, freshness versus festering, and I worry that Stasis is seriously expediting the process by which new players drop the game and old players drop the game due to exhaustion. Well, that wraps up my take. I wonder what the future holds, and I really hope it's good, because I like Destiny. Hope you have some fun out there. Catch you next week. Cheers to a new season. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, do it for yourself. Hello. Oh, Yerda, you are... You are so... That's the rudest thing I've that ever seen in my entire life. If you don't clip that, I'm upset at you. <laughs>